What I'm going to talk about today is something uh, that I've entitled simple swim bait fishing. Um, I love swim bait fishing. It is a powerful tool. It's addicting. It's so unbelievably addicting and it can absolutely destroy you. You know, you, who knows what I'm talking about? You, Charlie does. You pick up those swim baits and you start firing them around and you catch your first six pounder or eight pounder or whatever it is on it and that's all you want to do. That's all you want to do is chase these guys. And I have held that swim bait in my hand for too long, too many times, and I've gotten buried. Whether it's just going out fishing or, or practice and preparing for a tournament, um, swim bait fishing is, is it, it can bury you. So the key is knowing when to, when to pick it up and when to put it down. And I've learned some techniques that have made me a much more consistent swim bait fisherman. It's helped me turn this category of lures into something that I can use every day, something that I can catch fish with every day and not fall on my face like uh, sometimes swim bait fishing can be. But it is a blast. Swim bait fishing is a, is a tremendous technique. You know, one of, the, one of the things that makes it so awesome is it gets the big ones. It can draw strikes from those big fish and, and and that's what we all, you know, we all like to do. We like to catch numbers. We like to catch our personal best. If we're a tournament angler, we like to have those big ones in our stringer. So uh, it, it, swim baits have the ability to do that for you. In, the, in this category of swim bait that I'm going to talk about today, it can also catch numbers of fish. Now, your big magnum swim baits are never going to be in that category. You're never going to pile on 20, 30, 40 bass a day on those. But on, these, on the smaller, more finesse-oriented swim baits, we can catch numbers, you know? So you can get numbers and size with them. Extremely versatile bait. It, uh, a bait like this, you can fish high up in the water column. And I'll talk about how I do that for smallmouth. You can fish it in the mid-range for suspended fish. And then you can grind it. And I'm gonna talk about how to trigger strikes by doing that, by fishing it deep. So with one tool, you can, you can cover all of those different parts of the water column. And it looks like a real bait fish, you know? I mean, when this is coming through the water, it looks legit, right? Your crankbait doesn't. You know, a lot of those other tools, a spinner bait, what the heck does a spinner bait look like? Nothing in nature. It triggers strikes, I give it that. But as far as being realistic and imitating actual bait fish, there is nothing that's more effective than a swim bait. I was practicing uh, and on an incredible swim bait bite. I mean, just lights out, three to five pounders. I uh, could catch them, almost call my shots, and felt like I was gonna have a great shot at winning the tournament. Now, on, I was fishing mostly on the, I guess it's the western banks of the river, the creeks and tributaries on the western bank. And unfortunately for me, and this happens to all of us, but we had uh, uh, storm cells come through and they went right up that western bank of the Potomac. And they dropped, uh, you know, thunderstorms, quick moving, but they dropped, I don't know, an inch of rain maybe on those, on those uh, little tributaries. Well, where I launched my boat on the east side of the river, we had no rain. Water was gin clear. And I thought, okay, we survived the rain event. I was worried about the rain event. Why am I worried about the rain event? Muddying water, right? So I'm, I'm very, very conscious of that. As, a, as an angler, you know, things are changing. So I run over to the areas that I had these big schools of fish, and I look down, and sure enough, the water clarity went from about two feet of visibility down to about 12 to six inches of visibility, right? So what, what happened to me? I got buried. And the swim bait bite was the first one, boom, to go south. And, and that is what you always want to do as an angler. Is you, it's not necessarily what, whether we have clear, stained, or muddy water. What the most important thing is what it, is, what it was yesterday and what it is today. Right? In other words, if it was clear yesterday and it's changed and now it's stained water, we are going to have to make an adjustment. Right? It's going to be a, a, often a negative situation. You're going to have to go from visual baits like these 
to throw in spinner baits and chatter baits and crank baits, something with a bigger presence in the water to be able to be successful when that water goes from clear to stain. And the, uh, the other thing that you got to be really, uh, which is often a really, really good thing, is when it's going from muddy or stained water to clearing, right? If it's actively clearing, if I don't care if there's no visibility yesterday, but we've got a half inch to an inch of visibility today, we've got clearing water. And clearing water is a positive situation. Fish will go from being incredibly difficult to impossible to catch to suddenly now we're able to catch them. I don't know whether he thinks it's a bluegill flashing up there or what have you, but we do it with our crankbaits, we do it with our spinner baits, and you definitely want to do it with your swim baits. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.